Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today is Wednesday for me, which is Tuesday for the rest of the world, which means it is Unreal Epic Free Assets, Unrealness, whatever the thing is. There is bossy animations. There are an industrial hangar, like modular level. There's st uh, stylized characters. There is a winter wonderland, and there is a supermarket. So we're going to go through, and we're going to check them out, and... These are all free. You can download them. Go, link in the description. Go download it. Check the licensing because there was a few comments last time. But I kind of put in a little blurb there. But still check it. Jump over. Subscribe. So let's first check out the bossy enemy animation pack. That's what it's called. Um, you can see we've got a whole bunch of animations. We've definitely got quite a few walking swings and so on and so forth. What's this? Walking. Okay, cool. Let's just press play and jump in and we'll kind of see all the animations looping. Wow, they're, they're not too bad. They look pretty good. I mean, if you're doing a battle scene here. Oh, and I know that if you have a look at Actacore, which is a video coming out soon, they've got a lot of animations of, you know, with a guy with a shield. Oh, that's fantastic. There is a link in the description for actor course, so make sure you go check that out. But these animations, they all seem to be off the mannequin as well, so we can combine a whole bunch of, you know, just animations and stagger them, make cuts. Ooh. There is a video coming out on how to use the Unreal Engine sequencer, just a very beginner's guide, and if you guys like that one, I can expand on it, but definitely we can create some stories with this stuff. <laughs> so here we are in the industrial area. <laughs> Cool. Fell through a collision box. That's fine. So having a look around, that's looking quite nice. There's some really nice assets through the ground again. Um, is this a decal? No, this is part of a street corner there. No, that is a decal that goes around the roads. Wow, that's not too bad. Um, we've got reflection. Yeah, cool beans. These shipping containers look nice. These oil pumps, maybe? Um, but there's some really nice assets in here. Now, once again, like I've spoken about before, use these as a learning tool. So if we jump over into the overview, we can now see how they've been creating these assets. So for instance, these train cars, I believe, like we spoke about last time is we can kind of have a look at the mesh. So come up here into uh, wireframe. We can see just like the density of the mesh that they're using. Also, alternately, we can click on the materials and then we can actually see their textures as well. So we can see how much of a texture actually goes into the train cart. So I think that's really important with these free assets is yeah, take some learnings away. Uh, make sure you check out the licensing. Wow, that looks cool. See, even these planks, that looks nice. Yeah, wowzers. I am interested about stylized characters, so let's jump over and check them out. So here we are on the stylized character. Let's just press play and see what happens. Ooh. Wow, that's kind of cool. And then click and drag them around. So we've got various clothes, gloves, pants. Interesting. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay. Let's go to the mail. And what do we do then? Do I just press enter? Face details, okay, body. Uh, I don't know where the enter button is, but that's intriguing how they do that. So if we actually have a look maybe into the files, animations, uh, blueprints, let's check out the blueprints. So if this is something that you're into, it's maybe a good idea to ch actually try and break down the blueprints and how they did it. So we can see that everything's in arrays. So we've got five elements for the male face, blah, 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 blah interesting these are all the arrays attached body parts oh my goodness i wish i was smarter to go through these blueprints let's just have a look is there anything else of interest i'm going to assume that there's a whole bunch of meshes in here so male faces and then we've got all the different kinds of heads all the different kinds of hairs and the beards yeah, that's not bad what is this thing ah oh, that's that's a hair kind of looks like guy from street fighter so yeah, if this is something that you're trying to set up, it might be a good idea to have a look through it. Obviously you don't have to look through it because you can kind of incorporate it into your own Unreal Engine projects. But how to do that is the next question. From here, let's go jump over and check out the supermarket. And here we are in the supermarket map. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Uh, we'll open. Can I go in? 
Nope. All right, well, let's break our way in. <laughs> um, is this all... How have they done this? Okay, so this whole building is one prefab, which is fine, but let's just kind of go in and have a squeeze around, and it looks quite nice. What are all these? Ah, so these are all little lights, obviously, within the freezer. Yeah, cool. So that's interesting how they've done it. Are these all individual pieces? So these are all individual... Yeah, these are all individual pieces on the shelf. So technically you could almost put a physics on them and then you can just like destroy this whole place. Ah, oh, that's interesting that they've had to put lights all through there. You couldn't just have the one uh, rectangular like. Okay. And at the back, oh wow, it's even got like a warehouse area. So that's pretty cool. Let's jump over and check out the assets in the asset map and we can see the individual assets. So even though the store was quite full, we can see that there's not that many pieces. We've got bathroom pieces. This is the shelves out the back. Uh, some benches here. Obviously these two items are sitting on top of each other. There we go. Um, what's that? This. Oh, wow, this is all one mesh. Gee, that would be a little bit heavy. I'm, I'm interested about checking this one out. So check out the curtains. Let's check out the wireframe. Yeah. So it's full wireframe. So what it looks like is it's planes because from this side, we can see through it. So that means the normals are facing this way. Now I've got a video on all of explaining all about normals and they'll probably be in the link in the description for that one. And I'm just checking out the material. This is the material for the blinds. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Let's check out the UV map. Right, so the top left is probably the blinds. So this area here. Um, and we can see that this is the refrigerator texture. So they're obviously saving on texture space, which is really neat. These, oh my God, how many items there are. <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, you can kind of see there's a lot of the same, just different textures. Now I wonder if I double click on this one and we can just see how many textures they've packed in there. So like the back of the box, the side of the box. Okay, how they've UV unwrapped it. So everything's its own individual thing. Hmm. Um, oh, we've got some ice creams here. Let's, out of curiosity, check them. That's probably going to be a pretty small texture. Yeah, it's very small. It's only a 1K texture, and you can see the types of ice cream there. And look at that. We don't have to do Andrew Price's video. We've got donuts right here. No, Blender Guru, no. <laughs> Let's jump over and check the Winterland for the last one. Wow, this is looking pretty neat around here. Let's just press play, and we'll just go for a quick run around. Gee, that looks cool. That's really nice. Wonderful rocks and... Yeah, wow. Let's check out this one. What is this? It's just a winter rock. Um, let's check what the wireframe is like. Oh, it seems pretty dense. But Unreal Engine should be pretty good at creating level of details. I think it goes up to five level of details. Um, but yeah, there's some wonderful textures in here, like this grass area. Um, but let's check out the assets themselves. And here's kind of like our background mountain. These are our plants. It's kind of our snow banks, snow piles. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. These little branches all around the place. Beautiful trees. Mmm, interesting. I wonder how many polygons this tree is. Let's just quickly jump over into here, wireframe. Yeah, it seems fairly dense, which would be understandable. But yes. So once again, like uh, like I've said before, take it as a learning. These seem very much like, um, almost like scans. Uh, wireframe. Yeah, these look like almost like LiDAR scans. Maybe. Uh, I'll be doing a video on that soon. So if you've got an iPhone 12, go to town. But yeah, there we have it. And there we have it, a whole bunch of free assets. Now, you know, you don't have to use them, which is fair enough, but use them as a training tool. Use, look at them and how, how they've actually created the models, because that's what I do to try and build my own stuff. So I, can, can, so I can see how they're doing it and take those lessons away or those learnings away, okay? But until next time, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps up there. I got it.